Welcome to Daron Yoga, everyone. Today we'll look at the seven headstands, the seven shirshasanas that uh, come at the end of the Ashtanga Intermediate Series. Um, this is an advanced practice. I'm just going to go through them. So really, this is only for those of you that already practice them. We'll start with the first one, the head down, um, shirshasana B, many times it's called. Um, palms pressing down, elbows moving slightly in, belly in, and just reaching the arms up to the sky. Staying here for a few breaths, traditionally five breaths, and then legs go down, head up. Um, that was kind of, I missed the chaturanga on that one, but that's okay. It happens sometimes. We're going to go for the second one. They're actually divided into two parts, um, the first three and then the second four. The first three are Mukta Hasta Shirshasana, the free hands. So you notice the hands are not holding the head. In this case, I've got my palms facing up, back of the hands pressing strong into the ground to help me lift up. And the belly is really in to allow my legs to come pretty straight up. Otherwise, it's hard to be straight. This one was a little better landing, right? The legs go down as the hands flip into chaturanga position with the landing. Okay, the third one of the um, free hands headstand, the arms go to the side and you can eventually bring them right in line with the head or like I'm doing here, slightly lowered so it's a little easier to balance here. Um, this may be actually the hardest of all of them. Oh, yeah, there it is. It actually didn't work out because what happens is that many times it feels like we're gonna flip over and in that case, I just come down and try one more time. So you got to really press your hands really strong into the ground. Keep the belly lifted and then come up. Here we go. This time it worked nicely. So legs reaching up, palms pressing strong down. Make sure you keep your breath alive. Flipping the hands always back to the first position of the Shurshasana B, um, where the arms are 90 degrees, the elbows are 90 degrees, and then the legs go down, the head lifts up towards the chaturanga. Here we go. First of the bound, the um, bound head poses. This is like the classic Shurshasana A, the regular headstand. Coming up, it's almost like a little break after those three. Breathing here. For a lot of us that do headstands, this is easy. It's just more the transition to come down that's a little more challenging. And then taking your vinyasa into downward dog. Here we go. The second one of these four. Um, in this case, we're going to have the hands holding the elbows. Really pressing the elbows to the ground, pressing the head to the ground. Really walk the feet till the hips are over the shoulders and then come up. Um, yeah, you just got to keep a soft gaze. You kind of look through the arms in a way to manage to have stability here. Over time, work on having the legs straight up. At first, they may be in a little bit of an angle. Again, shifting the arms, coming down, Chaturanga, Udva Mukha Svanasana, and Adho Mukha Svanasana. Um, our third one, we're going to place the hands just like in Pinchamayurasana. So the head is kind of between the palms shifting the hips, legs go all the way up. This one's actually a little bit easier in my opinion because the head's down and the forearms are down. Um, so just stay up and breathe, take it as a little break, shifting the hands down, chaturanga, up dog, and downward dog. There we go, last one. So the last one, it's kind of an interesting one. We, um, we actually hold, it's almost like we're pinching a little bit the muscles of the shoulders. Right? But it's not really doing much. The hands are almost free. It's really the elbows down and the head down in order to balance for this last of our seven Shirshasana headstands. Okay? Make sure you're not forgetting your breath, even though the belly is in, your bandhas are working. And then Chaturanga Dandasana, Upward Dog, and Downward Dog. That's it, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed your practice. Uh, keep working on it. Be patient. It takes time to get it, but over time it gets easier. Thanks a lot. Remember to subscribe, to hit like, and maybe leave a comment. Thanks and namaste.